if money stuff can sometimes give you a bit of an upset stomach, put some butterflies or knots in your stomach, listen up here. This is a true story of our friend Gary. Uh, about more than 10 years ago, we began this tradition of regularly having him out to the farmhouse for a home-cooked meal. And I remember one of the first times he came out, I asked him the same question I asked anyone. Are there any, anything you're allergic to? Anything you don't like, especially in the vegetable category? Um, any spices you don't like? How hot, how mild do I need to cook? And Gary said, he said, oh, I'll eat most about anything. I'd like everything, but not everything I eat likes me. And he said, so I'm kind of like to need to go easy on the onions and easy on the garlic, which was really breaking my heart because I love to cook with those two things. But I accommodated. And when he came to dinner that very first time, he mentioned, you know, yeah, I just have problems as I'm getting older with indigestion. It's like I just can't digest it. I wake up and my stomach's on fire in the middle of the night. I take antacids. I take Pepto-Bismol. I've taken some other, you know, acid reflux stuff and nothing really works. I was super excited and super pissed all at once. Now, my husband and I have a more natural, holistic approach to our bodies. Dan, in effect, is a naturopath. And so the part of me that was pissed and excited was all for the same reason. Pissed because of what Gary had been told was the problem and the solutions he was given to the problem, a.k.a. Um, acid reflux, too much acid in his stomach, all of that. And so he has to take antacids and other things to get rid of that excess acid in his stomach. Pissed me off because more often than not, my friends, that's not what's really going on. That's also what excited me because you see, we explained it to Gary, you know, 99% of the time when people are experiencing indigestion, acid reflux, all of that sort of stuff. It's not because there's too much acid in your stomach. It's because there's not enough. See, the one place in our bodies where there needs to be acid is in your stomach. It's what allows your stomach to break down and digest the food. And so here you've got perhaps not enough acid to digest the food, causing indigestion, and now let's take an antacid pill or a some type of medication that's going to decrease the acid even more, it's not going to work. Pissed me off that Gary had been on that bandwagon, excited me because Dan and I knew a simple, 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 simple fix. And we suggested that he begin before every meal taking like a little half a teaspoon of raw, unpasteurized, unfiltered apple cider vinegar, maybe again right before he went to bed. He began doing that. Within a week, his digestion problems are gone, wasn't waking up with a boiling stomach in the night. He has continued to practice that, my friends, and he's not taken an antacid pill or any type of indigestion pill or any medicine for that problem in the last 10 years. Now, what the heck does this have to do with money? Well, you see, here's the thing that happens so often in our world. We're diagnosing the wrong problem when it comes to money. We have a tendency to diagnose the wrong problem when we're experiencing fear and pressure and stress and guilt and anxiety around money when we don't have enough money. We have a tendency to diagnose the problem as scarcity. And so all the things that we try to do is to try and get rid of that scarcity. We'll try to make more. We'll try to save more. We'll get out of debt. We'll follow a budget. We'll develop a money mindset. We will do all sorts of things somehow to get rid of what we've determined the problem is, scarcity, not enough money. But what if we're diagnosing the problem wrong? just like they were with Gary. What if the problem is not the scarcity you think it is, but something else? What if you looked at that problem from a different angle and could see a different solution? Simple, easy, powerful. 
so that you can <laughs> stop having those pains in your stomach around money. You could start to experience freedom and peace and well-being and ease in your life. You could start to enjoy your life like Gary started to enjoy his food again more and more. You see, that's that's what's going on in our world, my friends, when it comes to money. We're misdiagnosing the problem. And so we're giving, we're trying all the solutions that make sense in light of that diagnosis, not realizing the diagnosis is wrong. The scarcity isn't the scarcity we think it is. It's the invisible and inaccurate perceptions of scarcity that drive us. And until you see them, my friend, you will continue to be caught in them and you will try one thing after another and it won't really work. Exposing that, helping you see that, helping you approach it in a different way, just like we did for Gary, that's what my upcoming free webinar is about. You want to get down to the real reason you don't have the money and the abundance that you want to experience in life, this is the webinar you want to join. Register now. I guarantee it will be as big of a shift in your life as that little shift was in Gary's life. It will make all the difference.